at their gas prices down here. It's crazy. Super crazy. Look at the view. What's going on, YouTube? Back with another video. Just going to do a quick review on this car that I got. Um, like a 2022 Nissan Sentra. <laughs> Uh, it is kind of a small car for a, a taller, bigger person. So the leg room, I'm going to give it a thumbs down on the leg room. Like the seat don't even go back far enough for me to really be comfortable. But I guess you could say gas mileage or whatever makes up for that. Um, and I like the color. I mean, it got a dog ass color. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this video. This is on my trip reporting from uh, Indiana where I'm going to be. All right, so this is the car right here. As you can see, it got a nice color. It even got a nice sporty look to it. And I know it's not an expensive car. Um, I will try to throw the price and stuff like that in this video. It's very dirty though, but outside of the dirt, check out the front grill. Like it's pretty it's pretty nice I like I actually like the front grill on this car it's not bad at all at all it, the rails on it is pretty decent um, the trunk space is pretty good all right now I do want to point out it is touchless you just push the button key in your pocket doors open this is just the standard model so no leather it does have some leather on the door. This is stitched right here. Soft leather too. It is stitched right here, which is surprisingly considering cloth interior, right? But not bad interior. Let's check out the back first. Uh, I guess I have to, let's see if I can double press the button. I was gonna see if double pressing the button unlocks the back. It looked like it does not. See the window controls, door controls. I unlock the back door. Back, of course, is really small, as you can see. It's not a really big back. I wouldn't be able to fit in the back without this seat being all the way forward. So this is a very small sedan, I guess you could say, because it's four doors. Like I say, I got the seat back as far as it goes. And it's still kind of not far back enough for me. <clears throat> as you can see well it's kind of hard to tell but it's not a lot of leg room for a taller person I will say but as you can see it does have some stitching on the door push button here to start well I'll press the brakes and push the button starts the car so we get this AC going the console got some stitching I'll turn this radio now. I got some stitching. This is huge. It goes down really deep. Big cup holders there, as you can see. Uh, like I say, look at the dash. The dash is stitched. The door is stitched. If this was leather, it'd probably be pretty decent. All your AC controls are here. Cool things down here. You got the three in the middle. The hazard. We got the one over here. You can see it got eco mode. This is for your cruise and all that. That's to pop your gas. And down there is for fuel. Um, it does steering wheel does tilt. Tilt down and back some. I definitely tilts the steering wheel. You can see the instrument cluster, the tax. For the speed and the RPMs, the fuel and the temperature, all standard, but the middle is all LED, which of course it, has, it does the same thing in um, most cars now, which is really convenient. It has a decent sized screen in here. That's pretty nice. Bluetooth, as you can see, already got the music going. Wireless Bluetooth, which is, uh, well, Bluetooth, and it also has Apple CarPlay. If you want Apple CarPlay, you would plug it in down there in the USB and it'll work. 
YouTube. Hope y'all enjoyed the little scenes, little snippets I threw in there about my trip down to, uh, I'm actually in Lafayette, Indiana. Was out here for um, work, whatever. My job sent me here for a little training, which is always cool, right? I don't be minding training, so. Came on out here, man, it's a beautiful place. I mean, jobs everywhere. They got billboards of plants hiring, plants hiring everywhere, jobs hiring everywhere, every restaurant hiring, every hotel hiring, everything hiring. You live in Lafayette, Indiana right now, you should have a job. But it was raining earlier. I don't know if y'all can see those clouds behind me. The storm didn't kind of pass. So I'm like, well, why not get out and, um, and go see some stuff. So I'm gonna take y'all on this last little journey while I'm here. Uh, gonna ride out, hit the road like y'all know I like to do, and go see what we can get into before I head back and be heading back to Dallas uh, tomorrow. So stay with me on the, on this trip. I'm gonna need you. Keep me up because I have been up since early this morning. And let's go see what we can get into in a minute. <music> y'all i finally did go ahead and make it it's a shy town it's been a super minute since i i've been uh been down to chicago not just like driving through but actually down here to just walk around and talk kick it chill it's one of those opportunity moments that I encourage people to take advantage of. And um, just to, you know, have some time to myself to reflect, think, look back on different things and different elements of my life and how I would want things, my aspirations for the future, all that kind of stuff. A lot of times in my past, even when I was a younger teenager, I used to love walking because it gives you time to really think. But you can drown all the outside influences that you have and people pulling you different directions, different things like this. They just have time to think. People will be surprised at how important that aspect of life actually is. Where you can put yourself in a position to just get out, reflect, on your life your past and your future and just think I'm telling you it avoid a lot of damn therapy sessions for people who consistently need therapy if they did do that and deep thought but in any case this is absolutely man i forgot how beautiful downtown chicago is and it's such a busy super duper busy place so much going on so much life it's like shit it's like uh i compare it to new york 
It's like a smaller New York in downtown Shy. Cars, bad traffic, nowhere to park, people everywhere. It's, it's borderline insane, but that's what it is. <laughs> so, just wanted to drop this gym on y'all. I'm going to give y'all a few more views while I figure out what I'm going to do, where I'm going to eat before I head on back to Indiana. This was just part of my um, experience, I guess you could say. Being in Chicago, I couldn't get no parking spot to get to all the places that's close to all of the fun and more enjoyable things. And of course, I'm from Detroit, so you know, even though it's a lot of white people down here, I still gotta make sure I'm checking my peripherals and paying attention to what's going on around me. It's a little restaurant I'm gonna try to walk to so I can get something to eat. Um, since yeah, I'm going to pretty much have to do a lot of walking. And I definitely got to get these toes in the water. Which is a challenge in itself. Trying to find somewhere to park. Along Lakeshore Drive or the beachfront. Because shit, and honestly, it's just hard to get to. And hard to find somewhere to park. So you really got to park and walk miles. To get to certain locations. So. I get a little bit more footage of that. I'll be back with y'all in a minute. So beautiful out here, downtown shy. Alright y'all, I finally made it to the water. I know y'all can hear it in the background splashing up against these toes. As I probably just showed a minute ago, or you will see. Like I say, this be the perfect opportunity time to reflect on life. Different aspirations you may have. I've always been a water person. There's something so calming about being around water. It really makes me miss uh, living up north. But in any case, I hope you all enjoy the views. And take in this time like I have. Wait a minute. Chicago skyline, beautiful. Starting to get a little late. People are playing volleyball, having a good old time. Way over there where that Ferris wheel at, you got Navy Pier. Jet ski rentals. Look at all these people down here. Water cold too. The people still out here having a wonderful time. Good life, right? Sometimes you gotta sit back and reflect. Of course, you know I couldn't leave without getting me some of that good old white castle. Even though I was